We've all heard of the term building bridges, but ironically, there is no love lost between two of the best bridge building nations in the world, China and the United States. Both are vast countries with diverse landscapes and strong economies with which to build their infrastructure. China's rapid economic growth and urbanization drive have fueled a series of groundbreaking bridge projects in recent years, showcasing the country's commitment to pushing the boundaries of engineering. From the world's long longest sea-crossing bridge to towering spans defying gravity, the Asian nation has set its sights on reshaping its skyline and redefining what bridges can achieve. These mega bridges not only facilitate transportation, but also serve as landmarks that have become emblematic of China's rise as a global power. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Pacific, the United States boasts a rich history of bridge construction characterized by visionary designs and technical innovations. From iconic suspension bridges that span majestic rivers to arch structures that stretch across urban landscapes, American bridges have become iconic symbols of the nation's infrastructure prowess and cultural identity. Of course, what we really want to know is, how do the mega bridges found in China stack up against those of their American counterparts? By drawing comparisons between the two, we'll showcase the remarkable achievements, engineering techniques, and cultural impact of these infrastructure marvels. What's more, we'll explore the fascinating differences in philosophies and the priorities driving their construction, providing insights into the differing approaches taken by these global powers in pursuit of engineering excellence. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Or, uh, bridge. Comparison of bridges. Bridges have long been iconic structures, symbolizing the triumph of mankind in connecting distant in lands. As countries everywhere strive to develop and become more interconnected, China and the United States have emerged as frontrunners when it comes to constructing awe-inspiring bridges that capture the world's attention. Scale. China, with its ambitious projects like the massive belt and road innovation, has created a network of mega bridges that dwarf all other nations in terms of scale. Its longest bridge, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, holds the world record for the longest bridge of any type in the world, spanning a colossal 540,700 feet, or 164,800 meters. That's more than four times longer than America's lengthiest bridge, the Lake Ponchar Train Causeway. Mind you, the causeway does hold its own record as the longest continuous bridge over water, measuring 126,122 feet, or 38,442 meters in length. As of 2023, though, 10 of the top 20 longest bridges in the world can be found in China, while only two of them are located in the U.S. The Tianhin Grand Bridge, Kangda Grand Bridge, Weinanwei Grand Bridge, and Beijing Grand Bridge are all significantly longer than any bridge you'll find stateside. So if you're someone who thinks that size really does matter, China is well-deserving of your vote. Technological advancements. Another factor to consider is the technology of bridges in China compared to those in the United States. While many of America's most iconic bridges were built in the 19th or 20th centuries, China's modern 21st century bridge projects often showcase cutting-edge engineering techniques and technological innovations. For instance, the Zhang Jiji Glass Bridge, which opened to the public in 2016, features a glass floor for a unique visitor experience. Brave travel Travelers can peer down through the two-inch thick tempered glass into the canyon below from a height of 300 meters, 980 feet above ground. According to the bridge's management committee, the Zhang Jiaji glass bridge set 10 world records due to its design and construction, one of which was the record for the longest glass bridge, until another glass bridge was opened in Hebei, China in 2018, spanning 488 meters, 1,600 feet. China's emphasis on pushing the boundaries of engineering can be seen in the construction of intricate cable state and suspension bridges like Hutong Yangtze River Bridge and the numerous other bridges dotted along the Yangtze River. In the United States, the focus is often on practicality and efficiency, maintaining older bridges that are designed to withstand various environmental conditions and accommodate heavy traffic volumes, like the San Mateo Hayward Bridge, which was built in 1920. 
29 and stretches seven miles across the San Francisco Bay. Cultural importance and tourism. Of course, both China and the United States capitalize on their iconic bridges to boost tourism. However, the average person outside of China might be hard-pressed to name one of its bridges, whereas there are several iconic structures that spring to mind in the US. The Brooklyn Bridge and the Golden Gate Bridge, for example, often feature in lists of must-see bridges and top tourist attractions. They also stand as symbols for their respective cities, featuring heavily on merchandise and even on sports team logos, like the Golden State Warriors. The United States portrays its notable bridges as cultural landmarks and tourist destinations, featuring them prominently in movies, photographs, and pop culture. That's not to say that China's mega bridges don't draw in the crowds, though. With their monumental scale and breathtaking designs, they have become significant attractions in their own right. Bridges in China often carry cultural significance and embody the nation's aspirations. For example, the Qingdao Haiwan Bridge is considered a landmark representing China's engineering achievements, while the Hong Kong Zuhe Macau Bridge serves as a symbol of regional integration and economic development. Essentially, China's emphasis on pushing boundaries and creating mega bridges reflects its ambition to showcase engineering prowess, while the United States emphasizes practicality, historical significance, and cultural identity through its bridge designs. Construction Eras As reported by the Washington Post in an article from 2015, the 1900s were America's great period of expansion, the century in which the U.S. built almost all of its roads and bridges. Yet, incredibly, in a matter of just three years between 2011 and 2013, China used more cement than the United States used throughout the entire 20th century. 6.6 .6 gigatons of cement compared to 4.5 gigatons. This mind-blowing statistic demonstrates the rapid rate at which China has been developing its infrastructure, as well as highlighting the modernity of its bridges. An article published on ScienceDirect.com in 2019 also noted that Chinese bridge engineering has undergone three stages, learning and following in the 1980s, tracking and improving in the 1990s, and innovating and transcending since the start of the 21st century. It further explained that the development of bridge engineering in China has now taken a substantial leap forward, with the construction of many extra-large bridges adopting novel structures difficult designs and construction, and complicated high-tech materials and procedures. Examples include the Sutong Yangtze River Highway Bridge, Tianzeng Zhu Bridge, and Lupu Bridge. It's not just at home that China excels, as the country has played a major role in the construction of famous international bridges too, including the Malaysia Penang Second Bridge, the Panama Canal Third Bridge, and the New Oakland Bay Bridge, the latter of which is in America. As such, China is beginning to receive international acclaim for its bridge-building expertise, have picked up many awards including the Award for Outstanding Civil Engineering Achievement issued by the International Association for Bridge and Structural Engineering. As summed up by the author of the journal article, these awards mark the development of the Chinese bridge industry and represent the respect and recognition of the international bridge industry. Chinese bridge engineering has gradually moved into the center of the world stage. That said, while China appears to be forging ahead in the modern era and impressing with its high-tech bridges on a grand scale, it struggles to compete with the charm and historical importance of some of America's most well-known structures. Take for instance the London Bridge built in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Originally constructed in England during the 1830s to span the River Thames, it was purchased by an American entrepreneur and real estate developer Robert P. McCulloch in 1968. The original masonry was then shipped to America to clad a new bridge over Lake Havasu, and the bridge now serves as a tourist attraction. I doubt any of China's mega bridges have a heritage as interesting as that. Conclusion 
Ultimately, just as some people prefer a brand new sports car to a classic motor, the preference between bridges in China and those in the US is just that, a preference. Both countries have remarkable infrastructure. The differences lie in the scale, technological advancements, cultural significance, environmental considerations, and public perception associated with their respective bridge projects. As long as they're structurally sound and get you from A to B, all bridges stay stand as a testament to human ingenuity and the ability to connect people, regions, and cultures. Though that doesn't mean you can't pick a favorite. Which nation's bridges are you most impressed by? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching, and if you like videos like these, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and be sure to watch this video next, because it's what YouTube recommends the most.